Uh, done it. I've done it pretty much all my life, I, honestly. Um, started it in Little League and high school, college, done it in league. I've always caught punts, so it's just always been something that I've done. I mean, if they ask me to do it, I'm going to do it. How do you like the makeup of the wide receivers that stuck on the roster? A couple guys came back, obviously, with practice about that. Mm -hmm. How's that room look right now? I think we're looking really good. Uh, we got work to do and as far as be where we want to be as a unit. Uh, we got a lot of talented guys that can do a lot of different things. And together as a unit, we, we can make some plays. So it's it all about us feeding off each other and lifting each other up, making sure everybody's where they need to be. So when week one comes, we ready to roll. Kyle's offense, you'll know, have some of the receivers run with the ball from the backfield, obviously a lot of different dimensions. Is this a lot more than you've seen back in the, back in the day when you are in Atlanta with him? Uh, yeah, we got different skill sets of, of receivers. Um, you know, out there, he wasn't really trying to hand the ball off to Julio on the backfield. Uh, but you got a guy like Debo who can roll with the ball in his hand and make plays. Uh, you got to get him touch it. A guy like Ayuk, uh, myself. Name them. Uh, you got a lot of different guys that can touch the ball, so uh, you just got to know your guys' skill sets and take full advantage of them. Last year when you were here and then coming back, how much do you yourself kind of see your role and your importance to the team as being a mixture of on the field and off the field with helping the younger guys and just kind of being the, the better presence? Uh, just by leading by example. Uh, uh, going out there every day, doing my job, making sure everybody understands their role and are each other. We we know what we're out here to do. So um, just anybody that got questions, you know, I've been around league. It was my 10th season now, so I, I've seen a lot of different things. So just giving guys on little pointers on, you know, how to separate or how to run a route or how to use their body to their strength or, or whether it's on the field or off the field. So it's just being that extra set of ears and eyes and having that, what, what would I say, equity in the game? Yeah, but is that a conscious thing for you? Do you tell the young guys if you ever need anything? Like, um, it's, 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 uh, it's organic. It's organic. Uh, you, I see something, I'm going to speak up and say it. Um, it's you know my job to, to help my teammate out whether I see something. It's his job to help me out when he sees something. Uh, we got to hold each other accountable as far as, like, hey, this is how we do things. This is how we need to get it done. I didn't, and I'm, he's an unbelievable player. Uh, I'm glad we got him on our team. Uh, he does a lot of good things, really great things, and to, to see him just get better and better each day is, is wonderful to see. Uh, yeah, was from, from, the, from the jump, I call him textbook Trent, because everything he does, he does textbook. Uh, so. Uh, he <laughs> just seeing it, how he comes in day in and day out, the extra work, the attention to detail, uh, it shows. It shows in his performance. Oh yeah, he definitely grinds. He definitely grinds, and he sculpts to what he what he sees himself. When did you come up with that nickname? Uh, immediately. I just see it. I'm like, man, you do everything textbook, and I love it. Keep doing that, and just call him. I'm like, I'm gonna call you textbook Trent. Does he like that? <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Yeah. What do you call Trent Oh, we call him Silverback. That's Big Trent. <laughs> that's big, that's big dog. Mm -hmm. Daniel Brunskill just up here telling us that the offensive linemen have to adjust to different cadences up to quarterback. What's the, the challenge for receivers when it comes to playing the two guys? Um, just look at the ball. Not really. We're not really listening for the cadence. We're out on the island, so. We, we just look at it. As soon as that ball snap, we take off. But uh, you just you just got to know who's back there and be ready to make a play. Is there, is there a velocity difference? In the... No, it's just football is a football. It's uh, timing of the play, knowing how to get open and make your play. All right, guys. Thanks, Mel. Yeah, no thanks. problem. No problem, yeah.